it's fantasy land out here. It's this is raw mountain Chinese craziness. <laughs> it's unpredictable at this point. Hot, Sweat. cold, happy, <laughs> mad, yeah. sad, yeah. everything. We but that, that's an it. ultra. <laughs> yep. It's like an emotional experience. It's gonna be highs and lows all day. So you kind of just need to be prepared for everything. We're both learning and our perceptions are changing. When you get to experience that with somebody else, it's, it's kind of fun. In the big cities, there aren't a lot of people out running. There aren't a lot of people jogging. Jason and I just like, we're kind of blown away. I was like, wow, this is the cleanest city I've ever seen. And, and it's a huge city. The actual like road running and exercising and traveling around the city to do so is, it, it, it was foreign. We're athletes and you know, we gotta get a workout done. And we're gonna do it regardless of where we are. I, I started skiing when I was two years old and I started running when I was around eight. And so I just have a love and a passion for both of them. We went and spoke to the Chinese people at some of these running events. China's in a boom right now with ultra running. The races that they're doing are awesome. My success in China is related to the fact that I live at a high elevation. I train in the San Juan Mountains in Southwest Colorado, which is remote and steep. They have some similarities to, to you know, those beastly mountains in China. And so all of that's doing is just kind of warming up the muscles. At the first talk that we gave, it was primarily women. Because I know all about Jason already. The video that Meredith played about the ski. Wow, it's, it's just wow to me. And uh, yeah, it can, it's just so cool. <laughs> Most of the women that were there were, um, they're not runners. They just wanted to know what I was doing or what Jason was doing. And, and I thought that was really powerful because it just means like their culture is just starting to engage in it. And this is the first step. People are motivated and excited. There's uh, something new and something more fun than just running on the road and I, I felt excited to be part of something that was kind of pushing the, the, the edge a little bit. You know, for the trail running world, this, this is as gnarly as it gets. Uh, this, is, this is as wild as it gets. And this is also like, you know, in a place that, that most everybody hasn't been before. They, they have this ancient history of hundreds of even thousands of years of, of what they've been eating that is so specialized and different than what we are used to. An octopus? Yeah. Wow, Jason! See the shape? Yeah. And you put it in soup? Oh, you can just eat it. You can just eat it? Yeah, you cut it and then you eat it. I kind of just felt like Vicky, like, I felt like we became best friends in like five minutes. They are very friendly, but Jason and Meredith, they are stars to us, like pro running stars. Everything is strange to them. Yeah, this is really funny. This is wild. This felt extra big and extra untamed and, and uncharted. I didn't really see what we were driving through, but um, we did like the five hour drive <laughs> to up, up to Mount Sigunyang. The first thing about trail running is that, well, I, I don't really like the crowd. I like nature and I enjoy running in the mountains, enjoy the peace.
It just reminded me of the Tetons, and I love the Tetons, but this was like on a bigger scale. Like everywhere I looked, I was just like, it's the most beautiful range I've ever seen. Hello, berry, berry. Oh, that we tried. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. This is the yellow berries juice. Yeah, yeah. Sweetheart. $10. That's how much okay, it so is. This one, for example, you put it in the water. It will help you with the um, high attitude sickness. Really? So this one, yeah. And this one, it reduce your uh, blood pressure. Yeah, like relax your, make your blood circulation better. Wow. Yeah. As well. Yeah. yeah. Well, this is really cool to see this. Yeah. Will they let me go? Will they let me do it? I think it's important to immerse yourself with other cultures. Those women were so awesome and they were doing their traditional dancing and they were showing us them and I think that's a really unique thing to have with people. It was neat to see these mountain people just like surviving out here on the edge of the, 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 in the Sichuan province in, in these, you know, western China. It was it was surreal and it's 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 uh, it's one of a kind. My greatest achievement so far in my running career was I was second at TDS at UTMB, on 120k. It's the best an American has done in this race, both male and female. It was really eye-opening how much they cared about this race. These people are just all about Ultra Trail Mount Subunier. This race was 66K, it was almost 40 miles, but at like this sustained altitude. You know, I don't think I knew what to think of the race or, or where I was running. Yeah, this is the highest mountain race in the world. Yeah, the elevation it averages around 13. A sustained for sure. And I've never done anything like this before. It's on November 4th race, so it's, it's a difficult time to be really in the like the best shape. Because I feel like Do you feel challenged? Are you excited? I, I'm, I'm excited. I'm, I'm, yeah, no, I'm, I'm excited. But you know, I, I kind of get the impression that people think like instantly, like, oh yeah, she's gonna finish it and crush it. Like, and it, that, that's always nerve-wracking when you have that expectation. No woman's actually finished this race. So that's really intimidating. And so my goal was like, I just got to finish. I, I think it's going to be kind of hard for me to, to pull back racing because I always want to go out pretty hard, but I don't think you can. I thrive on this. Um, I'm not looking to like run as fast as I can on established routes. I, I want to go do some new, cool, crazy stuff in, you know, in, in these mountains and Sagunyang and around this. That's, that's what I was after. As long as I'm having a relatively good day, I've got enough clothes. Things go really bad, and man, it's humid, it's wet, it's snowy, it's 14 and a half thousand feet. You know, eight degrees out or something. Weather forecast, man, strike fear. It could be chilly. <laughs> started at 3 a.m. and so it's in the dark but by the time I got up to I think the third checkpoint I was a way above tree line in the snow and when the sun started to come up it was just like oh my gosh like where are we like because it was just peak after peak after peak just like snow covered and it's probably one of my favorite moments of a race ever seeing the sunrise and being where I was and it was, it was a really powerful experience. It, it's a special thing to get to a place that is this majestic and unspoiled. It was raw, raw mountain trail. The steepness and technical nature and the ability to like hurt yourself. Oh, oh, oh. 
it was uh, more diverse than most all trail races, um, just because of it being kind of remote China. We kind of ran around like this big mountain range, and that just made me feel really happy, especially to see the women like that because that's awesome. Like they're going for it, and they're as a culture. What I saw out of them is they are exploring their own lands and they're, they're getting after it and they're doing it. Ultra Tour Mount Sagunyang, you know, overall is more gnar, is, is more difficult, challenging because it's, it's ridiculously high and it also has the, the threat um, and, and reality this year of having a whole bunch of snow. This is the wild west of, of mountain running and, and it happens in China at this race. This was a real mountain race, true mountain running. It requires a lot of strength and it requires some luck. It was truly an adventure. Well done, it did it! Yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs>